Today we're checking out TikTok basketball hacks and apparently this grip spray can make your jump shot and handles better. Do you believe it? Uh, I hope so, cause I need it. I used to use grip chalk back in the day, so I am a fan. It's like a liquid LeBron. Big way. I got it on my hand. My hand is getting stuck to the ball. I feel like stickiness for dribbling, yeah, but shooting, I feel like it's gonna throw you off. All right, let's try it. This product is trash. It's definitely not us. It's definitely the product. Yeah. It's not a hack. For this next hack, let's say your ball goes over to the neighbor's yard. You got a mean grandma living next door and Here. she pops your ball. And then she's also very oh. overweight. The grandma sits on it. It gets deflated. Holy cow. Has this ever happened to you, Johnny? It's happened to me twice. Big sad. Ball's got a hole, but don't wait. If you fill it with some Gorilla Glue or Crazy Glue, it will fix it. And we're going to repump it up and play with it. We're gonna come back to this once it dries. All right, Jesse's outside. He's not allowed to know what I'm gonna do. I don't even know what I'm gonna do, so let's take a look. I don't like why he got his nose covered. Okay, that, that is foul. It definitely will work. I am not gonna lie, guys. I do not know how to work a can of it. Oh. oh, it smells so bad already. All right, we got the tuna in. Now we're adding the whole garlic. What is this, a garlic, minced garlic? Oh my God, it smells so bad. All right, so we got the garlic, we got the tuna in there. I'm gonna put my hand here. It's gonna make my hand, oh my God, it feels so nasty. That's gross. Oh my God. I'm gonna go play Jesse one-on-one. -on -one. There's no way he doesn't back off me. You learn a new move? I learned a little something, something. Check up. Hi. What the f is on your hands, bro? What did I tell you? <laughs> what did bro, I tell I was you? like, don't put that shit on me. What is that? Tuna and garlic. That's disgusting. What kind of hack is that? Okay. Put some tape on it. I think we're making a basketball. We're making a basketball. I mean, it definitely looks, you know, looks kind of like a basketball. Yeah. It does look like it dribbles better. Let's do some test dribbles. Okay. Dribbles mid. Let's see if they turn great. I think this one is fact. Nice. It looks more it circular. It does look more circular. Hey, 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 wait a minute, bro. That's a basketball. Hey, it does dribble better, 100%. Ooh, behind the back. Nice. Sham God. Hey. How to instantly increase vertical. If these things okay. actually work, and wearing your like vertical. three pairs of socks while you're performing can make you dumb. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. I would not try this. Okay, so why would it hurt? Basically, he's adding an extra insole and he's adding three pairs of socks. I guess your feet would be super cramped. Yeah, cramping. your feet are like, they're struggling. They can't breathe. First time, <laughs> I'm The little bunny hop. Jumpy. Okay, just grab the sexually. rim. All right, so first, let's try to dunk. Yeah. And then we'll put on three pairs of socks and an extra insole. Let's see what happens. I'm not gonna lie, muscles are feeling cold. I'm not warm, but let's see what I can do. I think you can get up there. Oh. Ah! I was close. It did go in, so I feel like if the hack works, you're punching this thing. I should punch it, because I was right there. I am not warm. Dude, that's what it is. My feet are feeling a little cold. I need a couple more pairs of socks. I got a special insole for you. Oh. Got you two pairs of socks for three totals, and I got something even better than insoles. Super insoles, bro. These are gonna make you way taller. Should increase the vert. If you really wanna go crazy, you could stack all three. It's gonna give you at least four inches. Why do you have these? I already have like extra large insoles, so I'm gonna just do the socks. I'm going with two inserts. Cause I don't think I can put my foot in there if there's three. I'll take the other ones then. Bet. If my foot fits. This is actually a basketball hack because height is literally everything in basketball. You can go from a small forward to a center with these. Like a lot of people say like three inches isn't a lot, but three inches makes That's, all the difference. It's a lot. It's a lot. Oh. Damn, bro, we're giants. Step three. Jesus, you're tall. <laughs> How are you so tall? What about shorty? Oh, so how are you, you so tall? I'll be one, bro. Check out. <laughs> no, I don't. How'd you guys get so tall? What do you mean? <laughs> what is? I think you're just short. Yeah, dude. No, I am not. I'm trying yeah. to go like just do some crazy dance. Right? I'm down. That's what we do when we're this tall. What yeah. The, what the heck did you guys do? Why your ankles look so big? <laughs> what are you talking about? I just got a little bit bigger. A little bit taller. Probably an extra two inches. See if I can get it. Oh my oh. God! Oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing basketball in heels right now. <laughs> Maybe I'll look cool though. Ah! Ah! I 
don't know. I think my foot's too far out of my shoe. <laughs> yeah. But you definitely did. There's, Much better. Yeah, there's a limit to I feel like there's a sweet spot. I might have hit the sweet spot. You might have gone too tall. A little overboard. Yeah. Shoo! Johnny's back on the court. I'm gonna check out a hack to score 1v1. You wanna go between the defender's legs and make him look silly? Yes. Do this. I definitely do. Catch the ball. Fake a pass. Right? If you okay. fake a pass, the defender is gonna raise up. Well, okay. that'll leave his legs wide open. Throw it through his legs and go to the hoop. Watch this. Fake a pass. It says, watch this as he just hump fakes a tripod. I need a teammate. We're playing 1v2. Yeah, I would bet that would work. I'm here. <laughs> Jeff! Oh! Oh! Oh my god, it worked! Let's go, it worked! All right, Jesse, just put that ball between my legs. I'm gonna get him back with some defense right here. Let's see what he's talking about. When the other team is at the free throw line, the crowd is making noise. You gotta do anything you can to make that person miss that back. shot. If you're at the top of the free throw line, he's about to shoot that shot. Raise that hand up. I see them do this in the NBA. I like that. I'm definitely getting them back right now. Let's go. All right, Jesse. So that last play you put up to my legs, that was pretty foul. I'm going to need you to take a free throw for me. You want me taking a free throw? I need you to take a free throw. Game's on the line right now. Don't do anything illegal. I would never. <laughs> what did I say? I knew that would work. I knew I it like would that's work. that's illegal, bro. All I did was raise my hand. I just went. You almost blocked me. I, I got two free throws. I had two free throws. He's not making the second one either. Hey, 50%, that's all you got for. You missed a crucial one. You got me. This is the dude who taught me the between the legs. This is the guy who taught me the free throw swish thing. Every time, put your middle finger on that little hole right there. Okay. You'll swish it every time. That's the center of the ball, I guess, huh? Okay. Bam, what? Bam, what? We should go use the, the pop ball for this one that we filled up with Gorilla Glue. I don't trust it yet. After this one, we'll fix that ball. No, I kind of like that ball. Kind of nice looking. So, middle finger on the hole. Honestly, this feels kind of weird. I feel like if I were to regularly hold it, I'd have my fingers way like side. way on the side. Having your fingers dead ass in the middle, like. Perfect swish according to that guy. Maybe. Wait oh, a minute. Oh, wait a minute. We've been playing basketball wrong our whole life. All right, you try it. This I may change weird. my basketball life in itself. This is crazy. <laughs> It does feel way better when I shoot though. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. Hey, stay tuned. I might be a shooter. I feel like I look weird, like. I don't like it. All right, now we can check the ball. Check out the ball. The glue, pretty much dry. It's a little sticky. See what works though. I think this one's gonna work. This is where grandma popped it. So far, it's staying strong. I don't hear any like air leakage. Try to dribble it a bunch, see if it starts deflating. Yeah, I mean that that's pretty solid. Like you definitely put a hole all the way through this thing. It sounds good. This basketball is alive, fam. I feel like it works. Ball. This is like proper. That works. Yeah. If you ever pop a basketball or someone pops your basketball, go get some gorilla glue. You'll be back to new in no time. Sponsored. Please. I'm away from Johnny. This is a defensive tip. Let's see it. Use this at your own risk. But a move on defense that you could use. That might throw off a shooter. Okay. It's a duck when you're closing out on them. So instead of going for the jump to close them out, duck. It makes the shooter nervous because they think you're going to tackle them. Player feels nervous because they think I'm going to tackle them. So I'm going to basically pump fake tackle this man if he goes for a three. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he bricked it. Dude, I flinched. <laughs> Did you think I was going to tackle you? I didn't know what was happening. They weren't. <laughs> Got the next tic tac. Tic tac. Jesus. That's crazy. What? I feel like that affects the ball, no? No, that's sick. Baby. That cool. Self-inflating basketball. Unironically, we have a never flat basketball. This thing doesn't have a self pump, but it doesn't ever get flat. Oh. So, oh wait, did you just expose the never flat ball? Wait, there's a hole in it. <laughs> Dude, we thing. have to try pumping up the never flat. No way. Dude, I didn't know that they had a hole in the never flat ball. To give more context on the never flat ball, I thought it literally just never had a hole in it. It literally never gets flat, always has air in it. Really hard ball, but there is a hole. We gotta see if we can deflate it. This is uncharted waters. <laughs> that ball in the TikTok is basically like a never flat ball, so we're just gonna show some differences. Sound test. Sounds like a okay. basketball. Basketball. That is a kickball. <laughs> yeah, this is some boings. We're gonna do what everyone wants to see. We're gonna try to inflate the never flat. Didn't even know it was possible. I can't believe Johnny pulled that off. I'm in shock, bro. Never flat could be a lie. Why would they have a hole unless it needed to be inflated? It's in. It's in. Oh my God. It did go somewhere, that means. Yo, we, I feel like we had to flatten it, right? Nope. That. Is it really never flat? There's air 
screaming out of that thing. This feels illegal. What Bro, this heck? is so cool. Like, we're really deflating a never it, it flat. It feels like we're doing something that's never been done before. Yeah. I don't think it has. A real basketball would be flat right now, though. Yeah, there was a lot of air packed into this thing. Dude, look at this. This is a lie. <laughs> Y'all want to see some crazy shit? Something that has been never before seen. This by is going to blow ever. your minds. All right. Made history. Never flat. No flat. way. Flat. Never flat, flat. Dude, this is a lie. This is a scam. <laughs> You're just exposing a multi million dollar industry right now. Like, this doesn't feel like a basketball. What if it bounces, though? <laughs> this was sick. This is my favorite one. This is a great hack. Now you'll never have to play with a never flat basketball again. Check out a shooting hack. Here we go. Instead of aiming for the rim, either aim okay. for the link in the middle where the net hooks up to the rim on the back of the okay. rim, the link in the middle on the front of the rim. Steph Curry likes to think about aiming for the front three mm. hooks and getting the basketball over that. I know this man is speaking facts because Steph Curry Masterclass was telling me this when I took it. So like, I used to look at the back of the rim, then I did Steph Curry Masterclass he said he looks at the front of the rim, so he always knows to get like over the rim. You hit the notches. <laughs> what part of the rim do you look at? I don't wear contacts and I wear glasses, so okay. when I'm out here, I'm just kind of blind. So I'm just. <laughs> this explains the shooting. I'm just out here shooting that thing. So now I will look at the three focus. notches. Yeah, focus on those notches. I hit him. Right, Johnny just becomes the most elite shooter by the end of this Let video. Let me put my finger in the middle <laughs> yes. and look at the notches. That's guaranteed. Hey! hey, watch out. Watch out, you guys. Hey, it's working. It is working. It's for working. Me. I like this one. That's a W. Next hack. Just a video to make me a better shooter. Road to Steph Curry. We're gonna use Steph and Curry as an example. Oh. The lie is that you have to have this gap between your palm and the basketball. I don't do that. Shoot, but if you watch the best I did shooter, learn that growing up. It allows you to get your hand under the basketball better for better range and gives you more control. Of Bam. Bro, literally, like, when I teach people to shoot, I will literally be like, yeah, keep, like, air in the pocket. Have I been just selling people's jump shots? What do you do? You know, I don't really think about it. I just grab <laughs> and shoot. <laughs> We're gonna try it. I shoot it regular because I usually have, like, a lot of... I usually hold the ball like this. Oh, I try yeah. to only hold it with my like fingertips. All right, I missed. Okay, now I'm gonna try it without the air. This is weird because I've always had the big pocket. <laughs> I'm not used to it. Let me get one more. Let me get one more. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I might have to start shooting like that. I'll try with the pocket because I don't know which one I do. So I'm gonna try both. So this is with the air. That feels, I don't do that one. I'll tell you that. So I already do the palm on the ball like this. Hey, since me and John are indifferent, comment down below which one you do. All right, so it says how to get open every time off ball. Whoa. Yeah, I don't think that would fail. Wow, that guy slumped. All right, let's see if this works. You're trying to not let me get this ball. There's no way you're gonna be able to let, not let me catch this. I right, play as hard as you can. All right. <laughs> Fuck off. That was too easy. I didn't even notice. That's how you're and pushed off of you. Yeah, that's that's a good hack, honestly. The ref's never gonna see that. Never. Why would they be looking at your feet? They're looking up here. That was dirty. Next hack. Any three-point shot, the rule of thumb is the position of the shooter's feet okay. prior to leaving the ground. If you shoot from behind the line and jump forward and land six feet in front of it, it's still a three-point. Why make it hard by shooting it when you could just lay it up? Lay it up? Whoa, that guy's got bounce. I mean, man really just did hit a three-point layup. Those are extremely difficult. I've tried them. Giannis is the one player I feel like who can make this 100% of the time who yes. needs to perfect this. And if Giannis puts on three pairs of socks, Seven he could dunk Giannis. it. All right, let's try this. It's actually so hard to shoot it with all of that momentum. That one is not a hack, and everybody knows you can jump over the three-point line. The boy is back. Basketball hack. You want to have better handles? Take your grocery bag, wrap it around the basketball. When you dribble, it's going to be real slippery, mm -hmm. and it's going to help you with your handles. Bam, what? I wish this dude was my coach growing up. I would be in the NBA. I've heard Kyrie does this in the past, so I feel like this one has to work. Before we put on the bags, we're gonna try a dribble combo. Get a little practice with the bags, try the dribble combo again. So this is us before we train with the bags. Ugh. See if we get cider. All right, let's get some work in. Some Definitely not easy to dribble with this thing. 
Got some work in, now we're gonna take it out, see if our handles feel a little tighter. Oh man, I'm kind of feeling saucy. <laughs> I actually am feeling saucy, right? I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Feel sticky. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's pretty nice. That has to be an essential warm up. That's a W. We have another shooting hack. An easy this one, is an apparently. easy shooting hack to make more shots. We were taught as kids to have 10 toes to the rim when we shoot. Back. Try facing your feet diagonal so you have a little bit of a tilt. This may Back. help you with better body alignment and a smoother shot. Try it out and see if it's comfortable for you. I'm gonna take two straight, then two diagonal. Nice. Wow. Okay, maybe I should start shooting straight. Try diagonal this way. That looked a little weird. Yeah, I'm gonna do less diagonal, just like a little bit. Uh -oh. Maybe this is cap. Damn. Uh oh, so I must shoot diagonally already. The That's straight cool. is just better. It feels more natural shooting diagonally. I think straight's better. Honestly, we made four straight, four straight. zero diagonal. Yeah. We have honestly learned a lot this video. If you want to check out us doing TikTok life hacks, just general ones, it's popping up on the screen. Subscribe to the channel and you'll become the best shooter of all time. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.